Coach, a very nice win at Tennessee Tech, a night where everybody experienced a wide range of emotions. Uh, I will ask you first about what it was like to go through as the head coach when you saw what was unfolding with Michael Roach. It was very difficult, uh, but at the same time, uh, we, uh, we knew that uh, it, it was a uh, very – um, uh, scary time. It, it, it was. Uh, it, it you you had to keep your wits about you. Um, we were very blessed to have uh, Steve Kana, uh, Dr. Kana, and uh, Dr. Eric Cole there, uh, as well as uh, Will Christman, our head trainer. Uh, they went to work immediately and. Uh, then uh, there were some other folks. Uh, there was, uh, I think, a heart surgeon from the stands. They came out of the stands, jumped over the fence, and, and began to help. Uh, without that combination of people, I don't know if Michael would have made it. And uh, you've got that going on. You've got a group of kids that uh, are beside themselves uh, with worry. Uh, I mean, just uh, it was very difficult from an emotional standpoint. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, the it, things turned out uh, for the best. Uh, Michael survived, and uh, we had to go back and we had to play a football game. And uh, I was very proud of the way that uh, the kids uh, refocused, uh, the way that uh, they went out and competed. And um, and they they got the job done. Um, in, unless you've been through something like that, uh, it, it's so so hard to explain. Uh, you, you have every emotion running through you. Um, uh, I said before, you you know you these kids they come into our lives, and uh, some of them are here for four years, some of them four and a half, and. And, uh, you know, they, they become your own children. And uh, when uh, my own children hurt, uh, I hurt. And, and it's no different with these guys. And then you, you have a life and death situation like Michael went through. And, uh, and, and the fear of thinking about what possibly could happen is very scary, and uh, I, I'm just thankful that uh, God gave us uh, another opportunity to to have Mike with us. You finish out the game and you pick up a win. Uh, your defense was very, very good. Only gave up seven points all night. They were in the backfield. When you went back and looked at the film, did they for a first game did they exceed expectations at all based on what you've seen in openers in previous years? Well, I think they, they played well. Uh, did they exceed it? Uh, no. Uh, I, I think we, we have uh, an opportunity to be a lot better. Uh, our, our tackling needs to, to improve. But uh, overall, I thought it was a, a great night for us. They gave up seven points. Um, they uh, turned Tennessee Tech away uh, several times. Um, made them try to kick field goals and the field goals turned out to be ones that they missed and um, and they gave us a chance and then offensively I thought it was a an excellent night um, we rushed the football extremely well we had some big plays um, we scored 21 points and we didn't turn the ball over so that that was a that was a pretty good day's work as well and all three touchdown drives were sustained drives, multi, you know, play eight plays, 10 plays, 12 plays. I, I know that's got to be a good feeling for your staff. Well, I, I think uh, any time that, that you're in this business, uh, that there's one thing that, that holds true, whether it was back when uh, Pop Warner started coaching it or uh, nowadays that – if the other team doesn't have the ball, it's very difficult for them to score on you. And uh, that's been part of our philosophy for a long time. Uh, you've got to take care of the ball. You've you got to control uh, the clock. 
uh, and then eventually you, you want to finish the drive off and, and score touchdowns. So uh, we'll continue to to work um, in the opening game. That there was always the the unknown. What are they going to line up in, both offensively and defensively? Uh, and you, you got to adjust on the fly. And uh, they they did some things that uh, that created problems for us last year, but uh, we had covered those things and uh, we did a much better job this year. Back to your defense, you started two very young corners in Devin Watson and George B.C. Uh, they seem to be in on a lot of plays, breaking things up, et cetera. Uh, what did they look like on film? Are, are, they, are they doing what you need them to do early in their career? Well, I think early uh, they were a little tentative, probably given too much cushion, uh, had some issues as far as ducking their head and, and missing some tackles. But once they settled in, that they, they played well. Uh, they played within the scheme and, and gave us a chance. Brad, you guys win the opener. Uh, you're able to score 21 points. Didn't turn the ball over. Uh, how big a deal was that? And that's an obvious question. But when I say that is, how much did the coaches emphasize that leading up to the game? They've been emphasizing that since last year because we had a couple of games last year where that was the difference in us winning and losing. That that was the difference in our season, one or two plays where we put the ball on the ground. And that's been something I've been working on since spring all through camp is really focusing on not putting the ball on the ground, not turning it over. And so that was really nice for us to come out and execute and have a clean game. That's, that was my goal going into the game and have a really clean game. And that's something we came out doing that on offense. First couple of possessions, it looked like Tennessee Tech was giving you some trouble. What what started loosening them up because third, fourth possession, things started to click? They had some big guys in the middle. Those two, number four and five, they were both over 300 pounds, and we knew that going in. They were, we weren't going to have, we weren't, we, we weren't going to have much in the middle just because how big they were, and they were going to be fresh and fired up at home on a Thursday night. But as the game went on, the offensive line kept pounding them and kept, kept pushing, and Ended up putting, uh, giving some big holes, and but even in the beginning, people's like you said, like we didn't start strong, but we had that chop block call, and it was kind of a phantom call, and then um, we were still getting three and four yards on plays where that's all that's that's what we needed on those plays, and so but the chop block set us back. Then the next drive, we started moving the ball, but we were still getting three or four yards on the plays where there really wasn't much there, so that was a good sign, like. Because we came out of the first drive, and I was like, okay, we're going to be fine. We're getting what we want on the defense, and like we know what they're in, and we're going to be fine. We just, gotta, we just can't have penalties. And so, Talking with Wofford quarterback Brad Butler, going into camp, Evan Jacks was named as the starter. He was a fifth-year senior. He gets hurt in a scrimmage about a week or two before the season begins. What was that like for you mentally? All of a sudden, it's like, oh, I may be the number one guy now. Um, It was – it was sad because of Evan, because like, me and Evan are really close, and we like we always have the, the whole quarterback group is close, and we're all good friends. We're good friends outside of football, and we hang out all the time. So that was tough to see Evan go down, because he when you come back for that fifth year, especially at Wofford, you're coming back to play football, and that's what he came back to do. And so seeing him go down, it was it hurt me, and it hurt Brandon, and it hurt everybody, just to see how much like how much work he's put in for that. And so that was really tough on us. But then as like you get over the shock up and you're like okay me and Brandon got to step up one of us has to become the starter and we both are going to have to play and so like I, I think we both took ownership of that and we have prepared for that for like for our, ever since we've been here and you've got to prepare like that especially being the quarterback at Wofford because you really we, since we've been here we didn't know who's going to play until game time most of the time so when they finally named the starter and he goes down nothing really changed for us like mentally because that's what we've been doing for the past three years and you have to prepare like you're going to be the starter every week and I'm sure Brandon's doing that right now and that's what I'm doing and that's what we got to continue to do is prepare like you're the starter because one play happens and we could be another quarterback down and everybody's got to be ready.